Okay guys, so I've got the new CPAP hose here. This is the 19 millimeter version. I had the 17 millimeter. I was trying to save space, but it really restricted the flow to the CPAP. So I had to reduce this size so much that it just, my duct is so much bigger on this upper half than this hose that this really needs to be even bigger. Now I'm going to print a nine minute Benchian PLA and it's it's not so much to complete it in the fastest time but the fastest time with the best quality so I'm wanting good quality even perfect quality would be nice but it's not going to happen with FDM printing so I'm looking to see the best quality that I can get in the minimal minimal amount of time and I've got it set up for a nine minute benchy it should be right around 9 minutes, maybe 9.10, maybe 8.50, I don't know, something. So I'm going to test the uh, PLA with a Benchy in 9 minutes. So let's see what happens and see where I might need to fix something or what are the limitations. So now I've gone to CPAP and I do have this tool board hanging out here, which is not the best. It really should be back here centered over the over the rail if I can but I, I haven't got to that yet I'm even my lines here are kind of cluster cluster you know what so but here we go let's go ahead and let it rip and see and just see what it does I don't expect it's going to be perfect but I sure hope it's good uh, so we've got the CPAP 19 millimeter hose with the valvinator duct well, let's let's see what it does. You might be getting tired of benches, but it's what I have now to, to test what's up. So all we have is the duct for air. No layer cooling, nothing blowing on the sides. Just this duct and seat pad. And this stuff does work very well with the 4028. I just want the weight off the tool head. So much pressure is lost in that tube with that CPAP blower. That thing is phenomenal. But it doesn't get near as much air as you think because of that long tube.
So we've got nine minutes and three seconds. The stack, I can see, printed too slow. And this is a kind of a custom sliced file. And then I'm playing around a little bit with a, a very small minimum layer time. I think my minimum layer time is about 0.4. And what I'm doing is I'm using a height range modifier in order to change the speed of only the stack. So I'm kind of cheating in a way, but sometimes, you know, you've got to cheat. Uh, I'm not really cheating, it's just, you know, creating that slice file a little more tailored. So, so here's the Benchy, and the stack, this is 80 millimeters a second on the stack, and it's very clean. So this can go more. Instead of 80, I think I should try 110, 120 and see if the stack still has the same consistency. So the columns are square looking. There's no melting in here. This little overhang here is not a big deal, but the cooling is is pretty good. The top the top is pretty clean. Now, that's a that's a clean top. There is stringing in here. The retraction is about, I think it's 0.4 millimeters at around 60 millimeters a second, something like that. Here's a tie wrap that I lost. Um, so the key thing I'm looking for here is is not so much that it was nine minutes, but I'm I'm looking at this bow at this stack and the bow. I haven't shown the bow yet. I'm scared. I'm scared to look at it. But let's see what it does. Ooh. Wee! That's a decent bow. There is a very, very small, hardly nothing right here. Wow, this this is a very good bow. Um, this is a pretty clean print. I, I'd have to say for nine minutes. Uh, I, this is this is damn. That's what that is. Uh, Wow, look at the back. I don't I don't know how if you can see this or not. I, I don't know how well this I'm looking at this through the camera, so it's it's really hard to see this, but to me this is a holy cow nine minutes. This is very good. So it looking like this, there is some ringing right here. And that's my machine. That's that's something wrong with my machine. I got something wrong. I got, who knows, alignment, belt, wobbling. I, I, I don't know. You know, this is really too fast for this machine. Um, I mean, it, it looks okay, but but when you get something like this, well, that means something's, something else is wrong. And it's not cooling. This is not cooling. This is the machine acceleration problem. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's what that is. Um, it's just too fast for this machine so oh I don't know I, I think I can cut 30 seconds off that with this stack here maybe 30 seconds at least 15 seconds and that stringing well I didn't dry the filament so that's a possibility um, yeah so there it is PLA Benchy 9 minutes and I think two seconds, something like that. So, with a, a pretty decent bow. There you have it. Benchy time.